super excited to be live on the Nika app today. Um, obviously very tired because I had a very exciting red carpet at Cannes Film Festival just yesterday. Still recovering from that and so is my face and skin. Uh, but I've had the perfect L'Oreal Paris products to take me through it and I'm going to show you what. Um, to begin with, I've got the Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Cleanser, Gel Cleanser. So this is the one that I have cleansed my face with. Whenever I'm talking about any products, there's going to be direct links for you to be able to buy it um, on the top or on the side. So hope you can do that. Um, I love this one. It doesn't uh, strip my face of all its nourishment and it doesn't leave my skin too dry. So it works really well. Super hydrating. Um, then I prepped my skin with my two L'Oreal Paris skincare favorites, my hyaluronic acid serum, which is my Revitalift, and my The Plumping Cream, uh, which is a day cream. Uh, so yeah, I'm basically done with my skin skincare, and now we can get started, and let's do a little get ready with me. As I actually get ready to... Um, shoot another look because i'm at can i've got these beautiful beautiful dresses with me um so it's it, it's um it's afternoon here i know it's 6 p.m in india but uh it's it's afternoon here I just had my lunch and um I'm ready to do my makeup i want to do like a chill day look but because yesterday was a bit more hectic with the red carpet so i want to keep it easy uh and fun like the perfect summer look european summer makeup look so yes, stay tuned, of course, for my base. I'm going to begin with the Infallible Matte Cover Foundation. This is also the one that I used yesterday for my red carpet beauty look. Hope everyone is doing well and I hope everyone has been like tuned. Uh, okay, so I'm swatching it here, by the way. So you guys can see. Um... So my shade is Radiant Sand and I've always, I don't know why, but I'm, I am a much bigger fan of um, a matte finish uh, versus, versus a more glowy look. I don't know why is this, yeah. Um, I love, I, I love a good matte look. I think it's, um, it, it makes, makes it look more natural, so that's great. I'm going to take some more foundation. Blend, blend, blend. Always remember the key to a great makeup look is lots and lots of blending. This foundation is super long wear high coverage so works really well for all these fashion events or you know even on days that i have like back to back stuff and the weather conditions keep changing like i need to shoot in the sun and um it literally just stays put so 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 wonderfully while giving a very natural result right which i think is so important do we have a mirror that I can use? Just to make sure I'm getting this right, the light is reflecting just a bit. And I don't want to be preaching uh, about how to get the perfect European summer beauty look without actually knowing what that looks like. <laughs> How's everyone? Please comment and tell me where you're coming from. Which city are you guys from? I'd love to know. It's obviously a lot easier to do this uh, in front of the mirror or in the washroom. But bear with me as I blend, 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 blend. The perfect matte foundation look. Say hi. Hey guys! 
Thank you so much for coming in. I'm actually reading all your comments over here. I'm from Mumbai. Where are you guys from? Tell me where you're from. I'd love to know. You love my can look. Thank you so, so, so much. Honestly, all your comments have been so heartwarming. It's um, it's so encouraging. It's so supportive. And you know, when you're sitting like halfway across the world, you really do need that encouragement for sure. Okay, so next up, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Paris True Match Concealer. I think we all feel like we have a dark circle problem whether we do or not, right? I just think it's just something that we, we all feel like we do. Uh, but yeah, I, I try to now avoid saying that I have really bad dark circles because maybe they're not that bad when you're just used to saying that. So um, this is my the True Match Concealer. My shade is Vanilla 2N. Yeah, 2N Vanilla. As in, this is what it looks like. Product's gonna come here so you can click on it and you can actually buy it immediately. Mumbai is burning hot. I know, I know, I know. It's it's literally like I'm gonna just wash this here. A little bit more because I want some for my under eyes. Oops. Oopsie. And then um, some for my outfit as well. Hi, I'm Rita from Bangalore. Super nice. Hey, Nitika. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for sending your comments in. I'm reading all of them. So, um, this is a super lightweight concealer, non greasy formula, and like you'll see when I'm done, has a very natural coverage. I am going for a more chill summer look, so I'm gonna go a bit easy on the concealer for sure. How's the Cannes Film Festival, Cushy? It's it's a lot of fun. I think the last few years it's been like a little nerve-wracking. Uh, but uh, this year I definitely feel a lot more calm, a lot more collected. Um, my team is with me which is for the very first time so and I feel like that has made a world of a difference I think can you tell with my looks and with my posts that I think I'm just I, I, I feel better now I, I kind of know what the process is like I'm just going to show you my mirror <laughs> yeah. uh, I kind of know what the process is I know how it works like the first year I ever did can um, it was so crazy because, you know, I was so stressed about the red carpet and stuff. And the red carpet is literally, it's all over a matter of like one and a half minutes. Like, I'm not even kidding. And there is just so much that happens before it and after it. But yeah. So yes, this is me using the True Match Concealer for everyone who's just joined in from L'Oreal Paris. Super lightweight, as you can see, I like putting some around my lips because that area is a bit dark, just on the edges of my nose. Again, I'm big on blending to get that very natural look. And of course, these products are not at Paris and helping. So it's perfect. Okay, super. What do we have next? Um, let's do some eyeshadow. Okay, let me just grab it very quickly. I've got my La Petite, La Petite eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. And um, I love the second shade that's on here, which is like, it's it, it's almost like a muted pinkish peach, peach, not peach. Um, but it has, it has a beautiful light shimmer to it that works really, really well. Let me get my brush. Super. Um, this is a really good palette and it's going to come here so you can tackle it and buy it if you like. So I'm going to go in with this one. 
gorgeous lush blue. Wow! This one just glides on. Can you tell? So beautiful. And yes, I do do my eyeshadow after my concealer. Don't ask, I just feel like our processes are just so personal, right? To each, to each one of us. But this is literally one of my all-time favorites. You guys know um, how much I travel, so you also understand the importance of how compact and cute and mini this eyeshadow palette is. So it can literally come with me anytime, anywhere. And the other eye, again, lots of blending at every step. So I also love the gold here. It's in, in, in this palette. It's gorgeous. Uh, when I'm doing like, like, like yesterday, I put a little gold on the inside of my eye because I really do love that look. I think it really opens my eyes up. And I think that works really well with Indian looks as well. Thank you so much. I'm reading all your comments here. Hi, Preeti. Hi, Jasleen. Hi, Swati. Uh, thank you so, so, so much for all the compliments. Really appreciate it. Hi, Pooja, Serena, Momina. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope you're enjoying the live. Do a quick get ready with me, like the European summer beauty look with my favorite Laura Paris products. Okay, I think the eyeshadow looks lovely. Need some mascara um, next, or maybe some blush next, actually. Um, okay, super. So I'm actually going to use my Rouge Signature Matte Lipstick and um, what shade is this? 143 Eye Liberate. Love that. And I'm going to apply it um, actually on my cheeks because I love how fresh it looks. So just a little dab, just a few dots. And then I take my Beauty Blender and just go. Yeah, definitely need a bit more. It has it, it it does the most gorgeous shade uh, for Indian skin. I love it. Always I, I love going upwards with my blush always to define those cheekbones. And because it's um it's you know fun summer look, I don't mind going a bit heavier, deeper with the blush. It just kind of you know this rosy cheeks you have that natural flush from the sun anyways we all know how hot it is right now especially in bombay and yes for all the bangalore people we are jealous of your weather for sure but um yeah and then i just like to blend it a bit this should be What do you think? I also really like how the eyeshadow shade, I, I, I generally do like sort of matching my eyeshadow and blush. And I don't know, I have this weird thing but I always want to put like a, a hint of my blush on my nose to just like balance the, the color out. Okay, super. Um, let's move on. Next up is my all time favorite. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. My volume, my lash palette as mascara. You guys know I love it. Um, all I need is like literally. Love dramatic lashes. And just need a few coats to get that look. Hi, Sava. You want some tips uh, for summer makeup? I like keeping it light. I like going heavier um, on the pinks. I like going heavier on the blush. 
um, I go much lighter on my base like you guys saw today so I prefer the base to be a bit more natural I also tend to skip um, the eyeliner because I personally tend to rub my eyes a lot when it gets too hot, my eyes start watering. So I just prefer to avoid that mess and I just put like an eyeshadow and mascara look. And I love how that turns out. Love the bristles of this mascara. So soft. And I can see it hitting like each of my um, eyelashes. So perfectly. Uh, like I mentioned, while I'm using a product, it's going to show up on the screen. You can tap and buy it instantly. Super. Now for our last step. Last but definitely not the least, I've got my Infallible Ultra Matte Less Macarons Lipstick. I'm using shade A38, which is very sherry. I love what it's called. Super bright, super summery, can totally do a muted like face, more chill face like I've done today, and then do a pop of color on the lips, which is bad. It glides on so effortlessly, like just the, the application is bad. It's also got a beautiful creamy texture. Please tell me if you see any of my teeth. And almost done. Ta-da! So that was my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Ultra Matte Less Macarons Lipstick in shade A38 Berry Sherry. What do you guys think? And I'm all ready. So this was my summer look. Super easy. You saw how quick it was. Um, yes, I hope you guys all enjoyed the live. Thank you so much for tuning in and for sending such lovely, lovely comments. Um, someone's asking, can you use this on the cheeks too? Of course you can. Absolutely. You saw how beautifully the, the rouge signature works right on the, on, on the cheeks. So I would definitely give this a try as well. So anyone have any questions? I'll be happy to answer. Thank you, Neetu. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Going to be posting more looks from Can, more beauty looks, more fashion looks. So make sure you tune in. Alrighty, lots of love. See you all very soon on the Nike Live.